Hello everybody and welcome back to the Let's Play Pokemon Black Randomizer on Nuzlocke. In the last episode we uh, took on uh, the gym and figured out how absolutely useless uh, Savior the Anorith is. And in today's episode we'll probably... I don't know if we're going to be able to catch any new Pokemon. I'm going to try avoiding a couple of these trainers because uh, I want to not overlevel the Pokemon that are high level anyway, and I don't want to use Anorith against these trainers where uh, possible. So I think uh, if I go to the left there, there will be a different area, right, where I can catch a Pokemon. I think that's how that works, so I might have to go back uh, to that in a second. Okay, so Hoot Hoot, maybe that's not the most dangerous Pokemon to run into. Uh, it's that's good, that's all good. I don't know what level uh, the upcoming gym leader is going to be, but I assume it's not going to be that much higher, because everything that happens between the last gym and the next gym is two rival battles, or three rival battles, because I kind of see Anne as a third rival. So there's three rival battles and then you just go into the next gym. So I don't think the levels will be that much higher, all things considered. Which means that, oh, no, 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 no. These guys are so freaking annoying. Okay. I, I kind of walked into that one, I'm going to be honest. Luckily, okay, it's a pupitar. I was going to say, luckily these guys only have one Pokemon each so far. And if I'm looking at, like, the Pokemon levels I'm facing... I am a little bit over level because even my weakest Pokemon being Anorith is up there in levels because this is level 19 and my Pokemon is level 20 and 25 and like 28 I believe so that's a little bit overpowered I'm going to try and probably like either after the upcoming gym or the gym after that the levels will balance out a little bit because I won't I require using the overlevel Pokemon because I have battle team balance. I'll have some grinding to do where I can just skip out on grinding certain Pokemon because they are already high level. And I, th I think it'll, within like a couple of episodes, balance out to the point where it'll actually be a proper team once again. Rather than just Shears and well, Ra is getting up there as well and then Anorith just lagging behind a little bit. When Anorith evolves, it's going to be very useful for the time being. It's very fragile. <laughs> so I think this is, uh, yeah, the desert resort. And I think actually, maybe... How do we want to go through that? I think we do. But only after catching whatever we encounter here, which will be... Huh, a lipode. I don't know how to pronounce that, but... That is, uh... I mean, it's not bad. It's not great, I don't think. Um, but it's not bad by any means. At least we've got a little bit of dark type uh, going on, right? Can deal with psychic. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. And I have to switch out because otherwise Ra dies. But that only leaves me with one chance to catch this thing. Because the sandstorm is going to damage it. Okay, so we might not be able to capture this one. Gonna be honest. There's a real possibility that this just dies. I don't know, actually. That didn't do a lot of damage. Uh, so let's throw a Great Ball at it and hope it sticks. That's pretty much all I can do. It's one. Okay, it's just one. That's not good. I don't have a nickname for this thing yet. I'm thinking about nicknames. Okay, I think it might be able to live one more hit there. It might be able to. Hopefully we won't find out. Okay, so we called it. I don't have a nickname for it though. Um, let me think for a quick moment. And I'll be right back uh, with the cruel Pokemon. I mean, if you were like a dog... I would call you Corella because you're a cruel Pokemon and dogs, Dalmatians, 101 Dalmatians, that whole thing. But yeah, it doesn't work because you're a cat. So I'm going to go with Dusk for a name and let me explain why. Because it's a cat and cats are usually fairly active during nighttime hours. 
and Knight just didn't seem like a really good name. Uh, not that Dusk is a particularly good name, but it's better than Knight. <laughs> and it's also a dark type, so like Dusk kind of works with that as well. So Dusk, uh, it is. So this is going to be a double battle. Or it's not. That's the second time that's happened so far in this series. So I think this is a different area where I can get yet another Pokemon, right? Okay, so it's got the same name. Is this a Pinwheel Claws kind of thing? Because I did literally go through a gate in order to get to this place. So I don't know if I can catch any Pokemon in here. I'm gonna go assume uh, that I can't. And even if I could, I, I don't particularly care about Galvantula. It would be nice, but we already have a Bok Pokemon. And an electric type would be nice, I suppose. Um, but I'm gonna go assume that I can't get away. That I can't catch a Pokemon here. I, I'm not entirely sure if I just wasted an encounter. But I can also find, like, the desert ruins here, right? I think. Maybe. Possibly. Hopefully. Maybe not yet. Maybe they'll only appear later in the game. No, they're definitely here. I mean, I guess the catch list technically is different because there are, st there are static Pokemon here. What are the Dunas like raw for static Pokemon? I, I don't know. I'm not going to catch them. I'm going to go into... Uh, the Relic Castle, which eventually would be able to get me like level 60 Pokemon. If I go through here without, uh, with repels, I'm not gonna do that. Octillery, you were quite a bitch in my last playthrough <laughs> facing Octillery, so I'm going to capture this thing. Um, I just don't know how yet because it's going to be quite a bitch. But once I capture it, it's going to be great. And I know exactly what I'm going to, I'm going to call you. I could just call you a bitch because you were a, a bit of a bitch. Um, I think this is neutral, possibly. I don't know what it's typing is. It's, is it dark type or poison type? No, it's just pure water type. It feels like for some reason artillery should be either poison or dark. I don't know why. But it just, just feels like it. So. As long as I don't land a critical hit, you can take another Fury Cutter because it's going to be double in power. I don't know if Fury Cutter even can land a critical hit, to be honest. I think it'd be a little bit overpowered if it could. Uh, so, let's catch this thing. Also, I think Octillery is, um, has a wrong amount of limbs because I think it has six and you could say uh, well I, I never it's an octopus uh, which it's supposed to be has eight limbs and squids have six and I think Octillery has six but it's got oct like octopus like octo like eight in the name so th that's that's a little bit of a mistake there um, and because of that and maybe I'm wrong here, but because of that I'm going to call it Squidward. Um, because Squidward... Funny story that, actually. Uh, oh, oh my god, that's my armrest just going down when I lean on it. I got a new chair, it's not a great one. Uh, well, the chair itself is actually rather nice, it's just the armrests just... They, they don't work properly. I, I taped them uh, to the place, but if you put too much pressure on them they just they, they do stuff so uh squidward is uh, obviously a squid also um i don't think anybody ever really questioned the fact that squidward was a squid because he's called squidward um but in the dutch dub of uh, spongebob he's called octo literally octo like octopus uh and that always bothered me, because he clearly has four legs and two arms, which is six limbs. And even as a kid, I was like, don't octopuses... Yes, even I was that kid. Don't octopuses have eight limbs? Why does Octo, Squidward, 
only have six. And in the original version of Spongebob, the English version, he's called Squidward, and that makes total sense. Also, if I have to go through another rival battle right now, I'm going to lose my shit. You're not gonna give me another rival battle, are you? Oh. Oh, that's, that's rather nice of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I, I much appreciate that, to be honest. So that is my uh, my Squidward story, and that is why I called this thing Squidward, because it always bothered me that Squidward, Octo, didn't have a proper name. And then years later I figured out, actually, something just went wrong in translation there. And um, I think I know why, because Squidward is, is a decent name. I mean, it's a little bit of a weird name, but... It's, it's a decent name. And um, Octo, it works as a name. It, it's not, again, a very good name, but it works as a name. And if you want to use uh, the word squid in a name in a Dutch language, that wouldn't work. Because literally translated as squid, we call it an inkfish. Which makes a little sense, because it's a fish kind of thing, which produces ink. That That's the logic behind it, pretty much, I think. Uh, but integrating that into a name wouldn't make much sense because it's a word made up of two other words and using only half of the name for squid would just involve either using the word ink or the word fish in a name and that just wouldn't make a lot of sense. Also, I would very much like to use Dusk right now. Uh, I can't though because I didn't heal it up. So I, I do understand and then what is the closest thing to a squid? It's an octopus. I can imagine that if, uh, and maybe the original creator does know about this, maybe he does have inputs on like translations and people explain to him like in this language this means this and we have to like make this consideration. What do you think about it? I know if I created something and it was going to be translated into other languages, I would very much appreciate that kind of inputs and that kind of control. But I know the original creator of Spongebob is actually a uh, Mar marine biologist so he knows his shit we get a free bicycle we didn't get the bicycle at all in the last playthrough <laughs> i just realized uh, i might have realized halfway through uh, and then forgotten uh, again anyway um so if he didn't know i can imagine when he found out that they just named it after an octopus rather than a squid in the dutch version and i don't know about other languages of course, um, if I were him and I was passionate about like sea life and it probably would get rather annoyed by the fact that people uh, think octopuses and squids are similar because they probably aren't that similar if you actually know stuff about them, right? So I would probably be very annoyed with the name change uh, if I didn't like give the green lights on it. I probably would give the green lights on it because I would understand, but I would pe want people to like check in with me. But maybe that's just my controlling nature. Um, I, I don't know, frankly. So we're going to go ahead and do the end fight. And I think after that, I, I don't know if we can capture any more Pokemon in this episode. I'm thinking maybe we can. Maybe we can't? I don't know. I want to make a full team, because our team is actually not that bad so far. We've got Scissor, we've got Solrock, we've got Anorith. Okay, granted, that's not a great Pokémon. And then we have got um, Octillery, which is great for coverage. And then we've got uh, Lyperd, which is still... Uh, is it pronounced Lyperd? I think it's pronounced Lyperd. Leopard? Lyperd? I, I don't know. Also, this always, like, this, this like, ferry wheel thing combined with Anne's theme. Anne's theme in general is fairly creepy, if you ask me. But for some reason, with, like, that on top of it, like, that footage, it's just, it creeps me the frick out. <laughs> and um, maybe that has something to do with, like, five, six years ago, I wrote a creepypasta. Um, yes, I did. 
uh, about N, and that got like 50,000 views, which was my most viewed video until uh, Top 10 Pokemon games, which now is at like 150,000 views, I believe. Compare that to my average videos, which get about 10 views. I know there's a lot of channels with like a lot of range as far as the most and least viewed videos go, but I think I might be somewhere like in the top in that category because my most viewed video i think i literally have videos on my channel with like two views and my most viewed video has at least 150,000. it might be more frankly i'm gonna look this up uh right as we are playing through this uh let's go for another rock throw i can take uh so let's go to my youtube channel and see what the view got did i miss now of course raichu outspeeds me because it's a raichu I shouldn't get distracted. I did. Uh, so it's got 175,000 views at this point. Um, while I have videos like um, the first four episodes Zangus, uh, I have to switch out anyway. What do you have, Squidward? Also, I'm using my mouse right now because I'm browsing through internet anyway. Uh, check moves. What do you have? Contract Psy Beam, Aurora Beam, and Bubble Beam. That's actually not a bad move set. Let's go into Squidward. Like, the first four episodes of this series have gone up by the time I record this. And uh, that's 14 views, 7 views, 11 views, and 3 views. And that's only 20 hours ago, the last one. So that's fair enough. Uh, but if I sort through my YouTube studio, uh, let's go for, I guess, Bubble Beam? Let's try Bubble Beam. Oh my god, you're level 22? Oh, this is gonna... Oh, that does so much. Okay, let's switch the freak out. Uh, while I... That also does a lot of damage. Okay, I want Octillery to stay alive. I don't want to use Shears. But I'm gonna use Shears because it's level 29. Uh, so let's filter on uh, views. And then... Um, like, less than 5. And for some reason, it sorts a video with 11 views into that. Okay, maybe YouTube is a little bit broken. Uh, let's let's focus on the game a little bit more. I was very interested. Yeah, see here, um, Pokemon uh, Black Eevee Lock, uh, which I admittedly like stopped after six episodes, and then I dropped off the face of YouTube for like four years, uh, but only has two views, which I now suddenly understand why I stopped that. And then a lot of things have four views and then, oh yeah, my Kingdom Hearts Let's Play didn't do very well either. Like, the most amount of views I get on that is like five on an episode. And those episodes are like an hour long, I think, because they're an entire world per episode. Uh, Sarapta, can I do anything against Sarapta with Shears? I'm going to keep battling. Just because I don't think I have anything else that can deal with Strapta very easily. Uh, let's just use Slash. I, I gave you Slash for a reason. Let's have you use it. So yeah, there is a lot of things on my channel with a uh, laughable amount of like no views whatsoever. And that's okay. But my most viewed video literally has like... Assuming my least viewed video has two views. Because that's, that's the one I've been able to spot so far, right? And my most viewed video has about 175,000 views. That is 175,000 divided by 2 is about like 50, 30, it's about 83,000 times as many views between my most and least viewed video. I think I might have like, maybe not the record, but I am up there. I am very much up there as far as uh, discrepancy between most and least viewed videos on my channel go, I think. And that's something, right? It's some accomplishment in my life. Okay, blissy, 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 blissy. Um... 
I'm running into a lot of blissies so far. I mean, we're at like the fourth gym and we've run into like, I think there's the fifth blissey so far, or something stupid like that. I never can remember, is Blissey the physically defensive one? It looks like it might be the physically defensive one. Oh, well, Chansey. I, I always get up uh, mixed up with uh, Chansey and uh, Wigglytuff because they're like uh, mirrors of each other. The uh, One is physical and the other one is specially defensive. And I think the Blissey uh, or the Chansey line, which Blissey is a part of, is Physically defensive, I want to say. It's got a huge amount of HP as well, by the way. It's not just a huge defense. It's an insane amount of HP. That's why they give a lot of experience, right? I think experience is mostly based off um, HP value. Is that right? That sounds right. That's why Blissey training is such a good thing. Like Waylord as well, I think is pretty good for that. So she is a level 30, which is a little bit overkill, since level 31. I probably should have figured that I should have put Anorit out there to start the fight and then switch into she is because of the huge amount of experience. Uh, but let's actually uh, pick my phone up because it's close to me and let's look up uh, the gym leader coming up because I think she is going to be stupidly over level for that still. Uh, gyms... Pokemon Black. Also, I probably shouldn't forget to keep looking at how long this episode has been, because otherwise it's going to be like a one hour long episode. Gym Leaders and Elite 4, here we go once again. I've looked at this every single time on screen, I think, so far. And the next gym coming up is level 25, level 25, and level 27. So I'm not that over leveled, all things considered. If I keep the others at like level 25, I think I'm fine. I think I'm honestly fine if I don't level over level 25 with the rest of my team. Talking about the rest of my team, uh, I think I might be able to capture like one more Pokemon today. Maybe. Possibly. Also, there's a fly on my arm. Just fuck off. Thank you. Because you can get on this route during the post game as well and catch a way higher level Pokemon on the other side. Which you could argue pinwheel claws for that. Um, but I'm not going to do post game. So. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's even worse. Um, I don't think I can even evolve you, right? You, because you evolve when there's a Remoraid on the team, something like that. Let's see. Pokemon Mantic Evolution. I love being able to just talk into your phone. <laughs> I don't know why I do that more often. Or don't do that more often. Uh, this might kill it. And if it does, that's too bad. Um, I already have a water type. And it evolves... Let's see... Where does it say how it evolves? Mantic is a dual type water flying baby Pokemon introduction. Uh, it evolves into Mantine when leveled up with a Ram Raid in the party. Yeah, that was never gonna happen. There's no chance in hell that we would run into a Ram Raid which we could actually capture. And if that thing was gonna stay a baby Pokemon for the entirety of. This could potentially be bad. Don't know what level Pokemon you have. 24. Okay. For a second there, I thought it could be level 50. <laughs> and I was very scared. Um, let's go into Shears because unless you have something like Earthquake, you can't really do anything against me. Oh no, you have Double Kick. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, so I can take that. <laughs> I can very take that. Uh, let's heal up. I keep forgetting I have healing items. I probably should use them. So I'm going to attempt catching another Pokemon because if I can round out my team of six before the end of this episode and before going into the next gym, that would be wonderful. I would very much appreciate that opportunity. 
Um, Metal Claw should do quite a lot of damage to you, right? I keep forgetting that Rock and Ground aren't the same damn type. Which is stupid, because that's a thing that... It's been instilled on my mind because they're very similar theme, of course. Uh, but in Generation 1, every rock type... No, every ground type was also a rock type. So it's really difficult to uh, distinguish what's super effective against rock and what's super effective against ground. And then you've also got like three rock types that are on ground type but other types. Like um, Kabutas and Omanite are also water type. And then Aerodactyl is also flying type. And then you've got the Geodude line and... Uh... Actually, no, Diglett is pure ground type, isn't it? And Doctrio? So, I'm just talking bullshit. Never mind, I'm just talking bullshit. Okay, so maybe I'm just stupid. I'm definitely just stupid. <laughs> Don't listen to what I have to say. Don't listen to what I have to say. Also, I haven't thought of a common question of the day yet. Um, well, since we talked so much about SpongeBob, for one reason or another. No, 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 you're not even called Bianca, you're called Kate. That's what the battle theme says anyway. Are you gonna force me to do one of these? You better not. Can I just not accept this? Please? I don't even want it in my bag. No, 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 I don't want this. I suppose... This is stupid. <laughs> this is super stupid. Can I just... Here. Have a ribbon. On your face. I... I like the idea... Of like having a gimmicky minigame thing in every generation, which is different. You've got the contests, and then you've got uh, the Generation 4 thing, which I don't know what it is. Then you've got the Pokeathlon, which... I actually like that one. Then you've got this, and you've got Pokestar Studios, which I like the idea of that, but maybe that's just because it presents my interest in being a filmmaker. Um, and then in Generation 6, I don't, or 7, I don't even know what they have. They probably have something I didn't pay attention to. Um, but I don't like the fact that they force you to do it. I think Generation 7 that might be like the, the Mantine surfing thing might be the replacement for it, which is actually quite a lot of fun for a minigame. Um, but I don't like it when they force you to do it, even for the little bit that happened there, just make it 1000% optional and I'm okay with it. I actually used to do the contests because I wanted to complete the entire game in Pokemon Emerald. Also, Pokemon Emerald was my first Pokemon game and I played the crap out of that game. I probably... I didn't complete the Pokedex, in that game. I never actually completed an entire Pokedex until Omega Ruby. And to this day, that's the only Pokedex I have completed. And that was the National Dex. And I was working on a Living Dex, and then Pokemon... Sun and Moon came around, and then I transferred everything to Sun and Moon, and now they're all on Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon, whatever one I have. And I have worked a little bit on that Living Dex, but like... Not seriously at all. Um, and then now that Sword and Shield are coming up and you can't transfer that living Dex over in its entirety, I kind of don't see the point in continuing it anymore. Okay, so... Route 5. First Grass Sire. Our final team member is going to... <gasps> it's for Brava! We're gonna get a Flygon! Or it's gonna die, one or the other. Um, <laughs> I'm very happy with this. I am very happy with this. Um, it's already a dragon type. 
It's a dragon ground type. So definitely Squidward, no. Savior. No. I'm going to use Confusion, just see what it does. I am significantly higher level, so this might just... Okay, didn't take it out. I'm a little bit scared that another Confusion will just murder it. Uh, fire Spin will eventually kill it as well. So I don't know what I should be doing here. What do you have, Dusk? I have False Swipe on Shears. I have False Swipe. I specifically gave it False Swipe. Also, I don't know why I didn't use it against the, the Mentike. I just kind of forgot it existed, I suppose. And uh, also, I didn't care enough. So this has been a uh, interesting episode as far as sketching goes. But I was talking about the common question of the day before uh, Bianca rudely interrupted us. Since I was talking so much, for some reason I thought, oh no, it's going to kill it. No, that's exactly what False Swipe doesn't do. Um, since we were talking about Spongebob and all that kind of good stuff, um, what is your favorite cartoon? Like, anything, like any animated show... I don't want to say aimed at kids, because that what is aimed at kids, what isn't, like some kind, some animes are definitely not aimed at kids, while others might be, and what even is anime, and when I say cartoon I kind of want to exclude anime because it's an entirely like different genre on its own really, but then you get to the whole discussion of what is anime and what isn't anime, and um, just to, just to allow me to keep talking about this, I'm going to call you Ang because I want to talk about Avatar The Last Airbender for a moment. Because that is not made in Japan, but it's very anime. <laughs> it's like the most Western anime I know, pretty much. But by some definitions, it's not anime. It's a cartoon. And I, I think, who the fuck cares? It's a very good animated series and it's just... It's amazing, and that's definitely my favorite, but uh, this episode has been long enough as it is. So let me know, what is your favorite cartoon in the comments below? And until the next time, don't forget to leave a like, uh, comments with the question. It's, it's really weird to do the comment question and the outro so close together, because I'm talking about commenting twice. Uh, and ring the bell, all that kind of good stuff. Discord links down below in the description. Just for good measure, I'm healing my Pokemon twice because I'm not paying attention. Until the next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.